I'm Pam Demore, the Decorating Diva, and this is um, a clip on how to use my template system. I've developed a window treatment template system where there are 12 different templates and you can create pretty much any window treatment that you see in the magazines. So the template I'm going to focus on for right now is template number nine. Number nine is the one I call the horn. And a horn is, um, and a window treatment looks similar to this. This is from template number nine. This is actually template number eight here, template number nine. And this is what the template looks like, okay? So what you do when you're cutting your horn is one, fab one side you cut on the fold, and then for the other fabric, you cut the other side on the fold. So what I would do, theoretically, is put these two together like this and cut one shape like this, which you can see with the long part in the middle is this shape right here. Okay, then I do the other side like this, with that side in the middle. Okay, the reason why you do it that way is then when you sew the horn together, you've got one of these has a seam on the short side, and one has a seam on the long side. So when you put it together, the seams can be opposite each other so they don't show. So this is what the finished horn looks like. This is the back side of it, so you can see the seam in the back and the seam for the other part, the inside, is in the inside here, so that when you look at it, the right side on a window treatment, that neither side shows as far as the seam, okay? So that's a horn. You can actually pleat it if you want to, to add a little more definition, and that's done quite a bit, and that's actually a lovely, lovely look. You can then double pleat it too, and by double pleating it, it gives it a little bit different look, and that's also lovely, and you can do that again, mounting over the top, okay? Now what I did here is I did something kind of fun, is I took this, this one shape and I thought what would it be like if I just made the whole valance out of this shape? So that's what this is. And th what I did was I sewed the pieces together and then I folded them and just pleated them like this. So these are just the horn shapes, just sort of like a flower petal valance. Isn't that gorgeous? Really kind of different. The other nice thing about the horn is it makes a great insert. Um, this is a valance using template number 10 and I've got the horn right here. I've used it inside here, also using template 10. These are the same two templates, only with this one, the top is cuffed over and it's on a pole. With this one, it's mounted on a, on a stiffer board with a, a shape cut out of it, okay? And then here, we've done the horn like this. This one has the um, template number nine done as an insert in the corners, okay? And then in here, in this balance, We've used template number nine in the center as an insert, so it dips down. Okay, so template number nine, a lot of fun to use. It's a small piece, it makes a great accent. You can use it as a little tail, you can use it as an insert, you can use it as a horn, or it can be a balance all by itself.